Hats for Hope. Winter will be here soon, and these hats will be donated to cancer patients and homeless people in the Local 6 area. They are all handmade in Paducah. Local 6's Leah Shields introduces us to an unexpected group of women knitting for a cause. Loop by loop. We've been doing it about every day now, um, but it's very therapeutic. Local women are loom knitting hats for people who need them. It just helps pass the time. Oh, and they're not matching by choice. Pink jumpsuits are the uniforms for female inmates at McCracken County Jail. Kimberly Cowsert says she learned how to loom knit when she was previously locked up. Now she's back and teaching other women. Hopefully I'm not in here very long, but I know that as long as I am, I'm going to try to do what I can to give back you know, the best way that I can. From 7.30 in the morning to 4.30 in the afternoon, they're making hats. And you'll take one over the top. The women can make six to eight hats every day. Their goal was 50, and they're well beyond that. I like it a lot. It really helps us get out of our head and also help other people who are in need as well. Savannah Lee is 19 years old. This is her first time in jail, hopefully her last. She only has a few more months left here, and they say idle hands are the devil's workshop. It helps us, you know, sleep and it just you know it really helps us with our mindset and just knowing we're helping other people when they're in need you know in six weeks since the program started jailer david knight has seen a difference they realize their actions do impact someone else and even good actions impact someone else so. spending hours together every day has made more than hats yeah i hope to see all of them on the streets and I'm hoping that this is the type of activity we'll be doing instead of, you know, what got us here. Loop by loop, they're creating a purpose for their situation. In Paducah, Leah Shields, WPSD, Local 6. About 10 women take part in that program. Jailer Knight says they will donate the hats to the Eckstein Cancer Center in Paducah and the Guest Foundation, which gives winter garments to local people in need. The yarn is all donated and the looms were paid for out of commissary funds.